And I think for me, um, like I said, I didn't have a father figure growing up. Um, so as Pudge was, was alluding to, I mean, we have so many people that we encounter, um, you know, on our path, on our journey to, to be who we are and where we, we've gone. Um, it's kind of hard to kind of pinpoint one thing, but uh, uh, throughout the course of my career, the receiver coaches that I've had, uh, starting in San Francisco, I had um, two great coaches, uh, receiver coaches, uh, Larry Kirksey, who coached um, the great Jerry Rice. And uh, for him, you know, he'll tell you he had a chance to, you know, coach, you know, two of the greatest receivers of all time, and that's uh, including myself. And uh, George Stewart, um, he was my coach um, after, after a few years um, when Larry Kirksey left. And those, those two coaches, they saw something in me that honestly, like I said, being drafted with the Niners, obviously on potential, um, on my physical attributes, uh, which obviously was my length and my speed, um, things of that nature. Um, but they consistently told me, you know, that I had the potential to become great, but I had to put that work into it. Um, but the event, I think the best advice, I think, uh, uh, Coach Stewart gave me, I think, no, Coach Larry Kirksey gave me, um, was to just to be my own man. Um, obviously, I was very quiet. I was kind of reserved um, early on in my career because I was trying to find myself, trying to find my niche, uh, just trying to absorb everything that I could with the greatness that I had around me to become who I became. And so, uh, you know, obviously I'd be, you know, I started to get creative. Um, people started to form opinions about me because of certain things that I did or I said, um, which were sometimes unfairly uh, uh, inaccurate. Um, but he just told me, he's like, yo, be your own man. Uh, you, can't be, but you can't be anybody else. And I had to realize that too, even from a, a professional standpoint, a personal standpoint, um, I used Jerry Rice as that barometer um, to be who I became uh, as far as the athlete, um, use that work ethic, my own work ethic. Um, but in order to, to be successful, you have to be really kind of secure in who you are. Um, I knew that I couldn't, from a standpoint of physically being what Jerry was, I couldn't be Jerry. Um, and I think John Madden, he coined, you know, he started calling me T.O. Um, you know, everybody kept messing my name up. They started calling me Terrell and Terrell. It's Terrell, but then, you know, T.O., T.O. stuck. And so T.O., there's two people, T.O. and then there's Terrell. On that football field, I'm T.O. You know, right here today in front of you guys, I'm Terrell. But once that, you know, I flipped that switch to be competitive, um, that's where it comes on. And so, like I said, a lot of people had a lot of things to say about me as far as my character and things of that nature. Um, I didn't allow it to affect me. Um, but those coaches, those individual conversations, those private conversations that we had, he said, be your own man. And that's what you have to do, be your own person. <laughs>